Hello people and welcome back. Call this a guilty pleasure if you will, but I'm just not that guilty about it. I did used to genuinely like um, Skid Row back in the day. Um, and this is their second album, I think. I can't remember now. Um, Slave to the Grind. And it is 30 years old today, so I couldn't let that pass without the opportunity to, to break out some, some cracking distortion and um, drop D action. Let's crack on and have a look, shall we? So we're in drop D tuning. <laughs> Go get yourself a nice chunky sound on whatever distortion pedal you fancy. And the first riff goes like this. And then you're into the next riff, right? So that's the intro. One guitar actually just plays the chords, which is... Okay, so that first part is just zero, three, one finger chords, then you go to a C, which is the third fret on the A, up to the D, then two, three, C, then you go to, you're basically on the fifth fret on the, on the low string, right? The other guitar part is playing exactly the same chords, but in between he's just playing palm muting 16th notes okay etc then you're into this awesome riff Which is just lush. Um, that is a slide from the second to the third, and then you've got this kind of gallopy sort of thing, right? So that is so down stroke, down up, down up, down, and around. And you got this fill. So two, three, five, five, three, zero. That little rest in, in between, right? But with a bit of palm muting. Okay. Like that, right? Then the, um, that plays the first and third time, second and fourth time as a variation, which is at the end. Three, zero, five, zero, and then on, uh, on the low string, and then on the A string, three to five, slid up. Okay, so slowly, those two parts. Chorus bit is just a couple of stabby chords basically, which play and then into the chorus, right? So that slowly is that's just C chord, one finger fifth fret chord, back to the C, and you got this um, kind of rhythmic variation which is. So you play the same, that's the same for the first two beats, right? But then the second two beats go whack, three, two, three. Okay, so again. And then you're into the chorus. Chorus is just a few simple chords. fill at the end. Second time. Back 
back into that beast of a riff. Right, so those chords, right, um, you're just playing a D. All open. I've got my, sec uh, my first finger on the second fret. On the... Uh, uh, G string there, right? Then we go up to the third fret. My little finger's on the fifth fret. Uh, up two more frets to the fifth fret. Then you've got this five three zero with this fill. Okay. Just a couple of pull-offs. Then the second time round. Couple of stabs on the C chord, right? Then it goes around again. And coming out of the, the chorus, it plays. Then you've got a sort of pre-solo part, which is. Just that rhythmic bit, right? Then after the solo, you've just got um, the same chords as pre-solo, just with some rhythmic parts. You've got this. Basically, you get the idea. You're just going to do... Roughly like that, okay? The only new bit in there was that... Five, three, two, zero, two, three, just with um, uh, five chords, okay? Then you just got the outro, which is... That part first, right, which is five, three, three, zero. Slave to the grind. And six chugs. Then the final part is just three, four. Okay. That's it, a bit of fun of your weekend. Hope you all. See you soon. Cheers, bye bye.